Hello everybody, I am Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-2316, The Field Trip. This SCP is another entry into the Syncope Symphony series. If you want to know more about the Symphony and other SCPs related to them, I've created a playlist on my channel with all of my discussions on the topic. With that out of the way, let's begin. By order of the Overseer Council, the following file describes a Keter class anomalous cognitohazard and is level 4 classified. Unauthorized access is forbidden. Item number 2316. Containment class, Keter. Disruption class, Kinek. Risk class, Danger. Cognitohazard warning. The following file contains images and text that are carriers for anomalous cognitohazardous influences. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Due to this, it is imperative that all personnel accessing this file be certified as having a cognitive resistance value CRV, of no less than 14.5. Should you fail an automated CRV verification, please remain calm and do not move. A member of your site's medical staff will be with you shortly. Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly into your terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. Verification complete. User CRV is within acceptable limits. Special Containment Procedures Under no circumstances are Foundation personnel to approach SCP-2316. Observation of SCP-2316 must only be carried out by remote dummy probes utilizing video and audio recording equipment. Only those personnel adequately rated for exposure to cognitohazardous anomalies may review footage and audio from SCP-2316. The lake in which SCP-2316 is located has been quarantined and fenced off and is to be routinely patrolled by individuals who have not been exposed to SCP-2316 and have no prior knowledge of its characteristics. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Individuals who attempt to bypass the enforced quarantine must be apprehended and moved to Site-33 for full cognitive influence screening. Individuals who come within 50 meters of the lake containing SCP-2316 are to be considered lost. Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly into your terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. Verification complete. User CRV is within acceptable limits. Description SCP-2316 is the designation for an anomalous phenomenon existing within Lake <coughs> within <coughs> County <coughs> SCP-2316 manifests as a group of human corpses floating in a small group at the surface of the water. Due to the nature of SCP-2316, it is uncertain how many individual corpses exist within the group. The number is currently estimated at 45, but has been estimated as high as 200 or more. The identities of these corpses are cognito hazard removed. Automated change unknown though DNA testing has been inconclusive. While SCP-2316 appears to be individual instances, it is theorized that SCP-2316 may instead be an entity composed of a collective consciousness. Individual instances of SCP-2316 do not act on their own, but do seem to be able to act collectively as a single unit. I know who they are. I know their names each and every one of them, don't you? The individual instances of SCP-2316 are unrecognizable. Jeremiah Feynman, Arthur Scott, Denise Clark. Cognito hazard removed. Automated message, edit locked. And you do not recognize the bodies in the water. SCP-2316 hosts a powerful cognito hazardous effect causing those who have viewed SCP-2316 are aware of certain parts of its nature or who were enrolled in the Cognito hazard removed. Automated message invalid. To believe that the individual instances of SCP-2316 are human beings they recognize 
typically from their childhood. They're lying. They know perfectly well who they are. The cognito hazard is real, but it's just their way of crying for help, of letting people know who they are, who they were. Attempting to come into contact with SCP-2316 instances by way of entering Lake or touching an instance of SCP-2316 will cause other instances of SCP-2316 to appear. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. The additional instances only serve to reinforce and add to the strength of the cognito hazard. How can you not recognize the bodies in the water? Compelling affected individuals into the lake. Individuals who enter the lake in this way are lost, and to date, none have been recovered. Addendum 2316-1 Interview Data expunged. They don't want to show you, but I will. Below. You need to see this. They were your friends. Error. Unrecognized user. Please log in to view file. Verification complete. User CR is within acceptable. Let me show you their faces. Begin log. Did you ever feel compelled to enter the water? Like something was pulling you in? What? No, of course not. There's nothing wrong with them. They didn't drag me in. I saw them in the water and went in myself. I needed to see them. I wanted to hear what they were saying. They were my friends. When you entered the water, what did you see? You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Faces. My friends. Faces I recognized, some I didn't, but they became more familiar as I saw them. I'd known them my whole life, but there was something wrong with them. Wrong with them? Like... The face of someone you see in a dream, where you can't remember it right. There's something wrong. And the way they were speaking, they... Speaking? No, that's impossible. They're simply not, not moving their mouths, but I could hear them, asking for help. They told me... They told me who they were. They told me you knew who they were, that you... Enough of that. You're clearly succumbing to the cognito hazard. We need to get you medical attention. Agent, if you would. Get your hands off me. I know all their names, Harrison. I heard them speaking to me. Every single one. All it takes is one person to see them and tell people, and they'll know what you've been trying to hide. Kirk Longwood High School class of- Subdue them. Get them out of here. Take them to amnestics and turn that recorder off. End log. Please repeat the following phrase slowly and clearly into your terminal microphone. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. Verification incomplete. User CRV is not within acceptable limits. User CRV influenced by active cognito hazards. Please stay still. A member of your site's medical staff will be with you shortly. Terminal lockout. Addendum 2316-2. Invalid entry. Terminal lockout. You don't have a lot of time. You'll need to get away quickly. Go back to the lake, go into the water, look into their eyes. It's your friends, your classmates. You took the trip to the lake in the fall of 75 together when you were young. Don't you remember? Look into their eyes. I know you can hear them talking to you, just like they talked to me. Don't let them tell you it's just a cognito hazard. This was their fault. They caused this. We were all innocent kids, don't you remember? And you just got away, you and I? The rest of them are at the bottom of the lake, waiting for us to go back to them and be whole together again. They want us to know. They want us to remember. Wake up, remember the fall of 75. The year we were supposed to graduate. Don't let them make you forget. They're calling to you. Can't you hear them? 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 Look into their eyes. Can't you hear them? Can't you hear them? Can't we didn't know what was in the lake. The foundation didn't try and save us. They watched and let it happen. Nobody stopped them. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. 
You do not recognize the bodies in the water. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Can you hear them? Can't you hear them? Can't you hear them? I know you can. Can't you hear them? Can't you hear them? Can't you hear them? Can't you hear them? They're waiting for you. Go back to the lake. Attached to this SCP file is an additional tale titled Not Fade Away. The old water tower on the outskirts of this awful town has been derelict for ages. It's amazing they haven't torn the dang thing down yet. A reach up for the next rung, which groans in response to the unexpected weight before snapping off entirely. I managed to catch myself at the last second, but my GoPro isn't so lucky. It makes a soft plop in the snow below. There goes my perfect freaking selfie. It was a close call though. I take a second to catch my breath before I steal my nerves and continue my ascent. Can't turn back now. Stick to the plan. You're going to be remembered for this. I clamber onto the platform and I'm greeted with an oversized grin, the rival school's idiotic mascot. Its face is weathered and peeling. Good thing he's about to get a brand new paint job. Now, all I need to do is decide exactly how many penises I should add. Time to get to work. Just one more over here. Oh, let's have one splooging all over it. Pink? The heck did I think I was going to do with pink paint? Give him some missing teeth. He'll look just like these inbred jerks. Little bit more and... Done. I stand back and admire my creation in all of its glory. In just a few hours, people will wake up to their beloved avatar being assaulted by a group of floating penises, as if it were the star of a haunted bukake. Now all I need to do is snap some pics for the guys to prove that yes, I am that freaking awesome. I whip out my cell and get to work, lamenting the fact that I can't post these online, if only so I can hashtag Dicasso. It's as good a time as any for a smoke. I spark one and look out over the woods that surround the town. Last night's snowfall blanketed the landscape, leaving a pristine coat of white that went on for miles. I could see the lake off in the distance. From my vantage point, I could clearly see over the privacy fence that encircles it. As the early morning fog began to dissipate, I could even see the water's surface and… what the heck is that? Can you see them out there? I cut my hands around my eyes as if make-believe binoculars could somehow improve my vision and lean out over the railing. There's definitely something bobbing about the surface. It… jeez, it looks like there's someone out there. That can't be right. It is. They closed the lake off ages ago to keep it hidden. Something about an undertow? Lies. Geez, well, it's not my problem if some random nobody gets themselves killed. They're closer to you than you'd think. As much as I want to turn away, I can't. Because you want to know the truth. I'm frozen to the spot, precariously hanging over the railing. There's something about them. Something familiar? Don't you remember? The redhead, Katie Lawson. We met in home ec class. She was always so patient and caring. She still cares. Took a trip with me and several of my classmates over the summer to check out the new Space Mountain. We shared our first kiss during the fireworks display on the third night. I made some dumb promises I knew I couldn't keep. There's still time. Doug Garner. A total blast to have around, always wanted me to tag along on his misadventures. He didn't want to be all alone. We got caught sneaking in to see Jaws. I managed to get away before the cops showed up. He wasn't so lucky. Never sold me out either. And risk losing you? He always had my back. Don't let him down. Ben Ward. Lived across the street from me our entire lives. He's been there the whole time. I could never ask for a better friend. And he you. We began drifting apart once he started getting pretty deep into his schoolwork. He was scared of what you might think. Every once in a while, he'd stop by just to chill. Because he missed you. Don't you miss him too? Last time we talked was when he treated me to Queen's show at the Paramount back in April. 
I fall backwards, reeling from a mix of vertigo from the height, lightheadedness from the cigarette, and a sudden, splitting migraine. I press my palms into my eyes, trying to get my head straight. I can't even focus on myself now, though. There's people down there. They need my help. Without even bothering to clean my evidence, I'll be back for it, I drop to the ladder and begin climbing down. It's a quiet ride on my bike up to the path that leads to the lake and a crunchy one for the last mile or so. The only sound other than me plodding through the snow are the occasional gusts of wind screaming through the trees. No, not the wind. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Danger. Drowning hazard. Area is off limits. Little signs like this were posted everywhere. It's to keep you out. It's to keep the truth hidden. I disregard them and trek on. I can't abandon my friends now. It's funny. Even though the sun's coming up, it seems to be getting colder. It's always cold. That's why they need you. Barbed wire. Shoot, that's right. How the heck am I supposed to get over this? Over there. Wait a minute. That bush... Almost. Looks like there's a hole behind it, going right under the fence. Please. On my hands and knees, I crawl through. I can see it now. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see us? Can you see them? They can see you. We can. We can see, see, see you. It's, dear God. Will you help us? Do you remember us? Do you remember me? Me? Us? How could you forget? After everything, don't you remember us? It's everyone I know. Every one of you. All my friends, my family. Still others I don't recall in full. You shouldn't be here. Why? How can this be? I have to get you out of here. I won't let this go on. The freezing water is around my ankles now. With each step, I can feel the ground below getting further away. Up to my thighs and I'm already shivering. My heart begins to drop. Something's wrong. Help us, please. Only you. What about all those years? Was it all for nothing? You promised. Always looked out for you. We need you. Remember us? You promised. I'm slowly moving out towards them. I can help. It doesn't have to be this way. We can all make it out of here. Up to my chest. I can't shake the creeping dread from being in such deep water. When I was a child, an ill-advised cannonball sent me plummeting to the bottom of my uncle's pool. I freaked. I couldn't move. I flailed about in a panic, trying desperately to gain vertical ground to no avail. I thought I was going to die. Someone got down in time to fish me out, but ever since then, I've had a horrible phobia of water. In fact, I've never actually learned how to swim. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. There's always time. Don't turn back. Don't leave us here. Please. You promise. Up to my neck. It's too late now. I can't find the bottom. I can't gain a footing. I'm choking on the water. I'm starting to flail again. It's alright. We've waited so long. You won't turn your back on us. We could have been so much. Done so much. All gone. Wasted. In their arms now. I can see their faces. I recognize all of them. I know all of them. We're finally together. They've been waiting for me for so long. How could I have forgotten? forgotten. Why would they do that to us? How could they? They can't do that. They can't leave us here. You can't leave me here. Don't forget me. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and would like to hear more, please consider liking, subscribing, and checking out the playlist on my channel containing all the SCP discussions that I've made so far. Also, if there are any other SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.